everyone it's been a while we're finally getting out here and I'm gonna do some ribs on the Oklahoma Joe it's been all winter Oklahoma Joe has been put away you can still see I got snow and I got my own gas here so I'm gonna use my gas grill to actually light my charcoal a lot of people do this so I got them out here might as well do it So what I'm using today, I got some B&B &B hickory. Here you can see the alcohol Joe, and I got my chimney sitting there full of lump. And in my Oklahoma Joe, I got the lava lock water pan, and I do have a lava lock um, basket, charcoal basket. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna use lump, and I'm gonna use sticks, and I'm just gonna set this guy on top of here and I'll show you that. Just like yay. We're gonna light that guy up. And many of you guys already do this. But I'm gonna use that to get my charcoal going. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do for ribs. So we'll get the Oklahoma Joe lined up and fired up. I'll show you how I do that and we'll see what we have for ribs on this. And with the wonderful virus, I hope to have more videos for everyone. So I hope you enjoy this one. And once this gets started and smoking, I'll take you a picture of that and I'll show you the sticks. I'm just using sticks from uh, Wally World right now because I haven't really found any good source for wood yet. I got some cherry back there, but that's not dried out good enough. But yeah, be back in a few. As you can see, I'll show you this quick. Smoking away, so that works good. But I'm going to get this lined up and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. So I'm just going to show you this. I'm not seeing a whole lot in there, but you can tell it's a little gray. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to dump it in the Oklahoma Joe. Yeah, I've got plenty of sit in there. I'm not too worried about that. But we're going to dump this. get rid of that we got a nice crack a little fire here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tongs maybe okay I'm gonna take my tongs and spread that out a little bit that side's really hot and I usually like to put my stick right away from the firebox but I'm gonna grab a stick to get this thing going, I'm going to use a pretty big one. And all I'm going to do is drop him in like that, let that go. I got a little water in the water pan there, you can tell that. This Oklahoma Joe has a baffle, so method, let's go back. Obviously open up the Oklahoma Joe, get some lunk charcoal in the chimney, get that going. Uh, I got a piece of hickory, I'm going to throw that in the middle. Um, I got a little water pan in this guy and a baffle plate. This is a Highland. So I'm going to shut that down. And people complain about these thermometers. I got two. And you know what today? I don't feel like using electronics, so I'm going to run it. Um, that's open. I'm going to shut my firebox. So that's shut down. Um, I got my door wide open. I want to get some heat running in here. I got my stack wide open. And see that's ugly smoke so we want to clear that out and got some smoke coming out everywhere which is fine I'm not too worried and I grab another stick a smaller one I'm gonna set that on my on top of there for now because I don't want a whole bunch of heat going on here and I'm gonna let that stick warm up once I get that and I'll put another stick on top of my my barrel but I need this to get up to temp and I need us to clear out. You can say we're really dirty smoke right now, which is obvious, but it'll clear out. And then I'll need to, should fire this guy off. I'll clean that up. So we got a little mess, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. But we're starting to get ready to roll some smoke. Obviously we're hella dirty smoke right now. We sure don't want to put that in there right now. And I got a little breeze. I'm thinking maybe five. Um, yeah, hardly ever, but 
I think we got enough where we'll be just fine. So we're rolling and we're moving and next part of this I'll get this stabilized and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, I am back. So I'm going to see what you we got and see our smoke. A lot better. That's cleaning up. Temp wise, and again, most people don't like these top gauges. I'm going to run them. I look at 250 to 300, even two and a quarter to 300. I don't get too excited. Usually have a good product, so we'll see what the end result is. But here's what we're running. So 250 on the firebox side, I'm really happy with that. So, and this one's running a little hot, but I don't totally trust these thermometers. That's why I'm saying if I'm in between two and a quarter and 300 roughly, I don't get too excited. I'm more worried about my smoke. And that's clearing up pretty good. We're not doing a chimney, so we kind of want that white clear blue smoke. I'd say we're pretty close. I'm gonna let this burn out a little more, but I'll show you what we got. My log's burning pretty nice there. So I'm gonna let this burn up a little bit and I'm gonna shut my door down a little. I'm gonna actually shut my door a little bit and play with temps and probably won't show you that. Next step I'm gonna show you is getting my ribs ready. So I will be back with you in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do rib prep. The joys of this, the skin. People seen this trick. I'd already took the butter knife, this one comes up pretty good, so I'm gonna grab a paper towel, see if we can do this worth a credit on the camera. Eh, that one's tearing okay. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah. You got that one. This is how it's supposed to work, perfect world. What if it doesn't? Well, this one's a prime example. That one looks like it's pulled off, but it's not. So I scored it with a knife and then I'm gonna let it roll. So you sit there and pick on it forever. A lot of people tell you it's really easy. It's really easy when it comes off, right? So how are we gonna make these? I'm gonna use honey. Some of you are like sacrilegious, whatever. And I'm just gonna dump a little honey right on there for a binder. Everybody does in their own way, but we'll see what they look like. And I'm gonna do that is put a little bit down the middle, quite a bit actually, a little onion powder. Garlic powder. cumin and a little bit more last but not least a little brown sugar third cup for two ribs actually a little more so let's say a half a cup all right, we're gonna get them out in uh, Oklahoma Joe, and that's simple, easy. And then I, I just like these baking pans, keeps everything kind of neat. And I'll put the barbecue sauce on these, I'll show a trick later on that, but we got the membrane off of this one. This one didn't cut too well, so I just scored it with a knife. I think our results will be similar. Doing a rub, a little, I'm gonna just let my stuff just kind of do its thing there. I don't get overly worried about padding it in and that'll cook down and caramelize so we should be really good. I'm gonna check the Oklahoma Joe and we're gonna get these on. 
All right, everybody, we're back. So we're just going to show you what we got. And I've been spritzing these with apple cider vinegar. So we're going to sauce these because we like sauce. And then I'll show you the finished cut. Okay, we are back. This is pre-sauce. Um, somebody in the house wants some sauce. We're going to sauce some. And here you go. And I will show you the cut. And I've just been spritzing these with apple cider vinegar. They've been on for about five and a half hours. So I'll show you the cut when we bring them in. Well, here's our end result. Was a nice bend test. See what we got. There's our smoke ring. Well, we're going to sample them out. So, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.